Adventures. Thanks for joining today. If you like the content, please be sure to subscribe as well as give it a thumbs up. We'd appreciate it. I've had some very perceptive individuals here in the past ask me about my boobs because they've noticed that my boobs are not as wide as the wings. So they don't go quite to the end of the wings. Now my wingspan is 52 feet. And the reason for that is because of wingtip vortices. Now, the normal airflow over the wing is you have some air flowing over the top of the wing and some air flowing under the bottom of the wing. However, on the ends of the wing, you have what's called wingtip vortices. And it's this swirling effect that happens with the airflow. And that swirl comes off of the end of the wing just kind of keeps on swirling, going out both directions. And what happens if you had your booms the full length of the wing, all of that extra length out there would get caught in your wingtip vortice. And what does that lead to? Well, it leads to a lot of drift. So right now, my wing tips, like I said, or my wingspan is 52 feet. Well, the length of my boom is right at about 37 feet. And what's interesting about all this is that labels for products that we spray actually specify that the booms cannot be longer than 75% of the wingspan. In my case, 75% of the wingspan would be 39 feet, so I'm under that. But what some people do, and where it really becomes a problem, is spraying herbicide. Because if things drift, there's a potential that they could kill what's next to the field that you're applying in. So people will even go one step further with that. And they may shut off the last four or five nozzles on the end of the boom. And really shorten up and narrow their spray pattern really trying to make it so that they don't have any kind of drift in that wingtip vortice. So that is why my booms do not go to the end of my wings. It's all because of the wingtip vortice. Now, they do make a product called a winglet, and you may see these on airliners or larger jets. But there are some spray planes that have them. I don't really see them on air tractors much. I've seen one or two air tractors that have winglets. But I have seen definitely more thrush aircraft that have them. Why is that? I honestly don't know. Uh, I wish I had an answer for you, but I'm not really sure why they're not super popular. If you guys have any questions about wingtip vortices, or really any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tyson with Ag Aviation Adventures. Fly low and fly fast.